Let's get you all the latest updates this morning on the investigation by the Delhi police into the Kreta toolkit case. A team of Delhi police raided activist Shantanu Muluk's house in Maharashtra's Bede district yesterday. Police questioned his family, scanned bank account details also to find some crucial evidence. Police says that Shantanu along with Nikita Jacob and Disha Ravi, remember she's already been arrested, they all involved in this toolkit case and had attended a Zoom call organized by members members of pro Khalistani group, uh, the Poetic Justice Foundation. India Today has also accessed a signed statement of Nikita dating February 11, stating that she will cooperate with the Delhi police probe, but when cops reached her house on February 12th, she went missing. She was untraceable. Amid this, both Nikita and Shantanu have moved the Bombay High Court for interim protection from police action. While Shantanu's hearing has been listed today and will come up by evening, Nikita's play has been listed for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Huh. So there is a massive controversy over the Delhi police's action. Widespread outrage and anger after the Delhi police arrested Bengaluru-based climate activist Disha Ravi for editing the farmer protest toolkit shared by Greta Thunberg. Now the cops have slapped a serious charge of conspiracy against Disha, triggering national and international condemnation. Here are all the updates. <laughs> A 22-year-old climate activist, Disha Ravi, is in the eye of a raging storm over toolkit in the Republic Day unrest case. Slapped with grave charges like sedition and criminal conspiracy, trouble seems to be mounting for Disha. Delhi police have claimed that they have unearthed a big Khalistani-linked plot against India. One portion of the toolkit document mentioned action points named prior action. As you are aware, they were digital strike through hashtag on 26th January and earlier tweet storm on 23rd January onwards and physical action on 26th January. Not only that, police says that she even was part of a Zoom meeting with pro Khalistani Poetic Justice Foundation's Mod Haliwal along with co-accused Nikita. On 11th January, Nikita and Shantanu attended a Zoom meeting organized by Poetic Justice Foundation in which the modalities of the Global Day of Action were worked out. But activists have put the police in dock, questioning why no action were taken on banned organizations before Republic Day. A citizens' march demanding release of Disha was also held in Bengaluru. The opposition and several key global figures have trained their guns at the Modi government. I am really sorry that actual who are the guilty and who are the, uh, doing the mistakes, and especially the BJP IT sales. They cannot spare a 21 years girl, fight the politics politically. But don't abuse the people, don't accuse the people, don't beat the farmers, don't beat the students, don't beat the other people. A country which is not afraid, afraid of China can't possibly be afraid of Disha. If there is a conspiracy involved, which the government says there is, then they should make um, uh, Greta Thunberg an accused, and make Rihanna an accused. The BJP, however, hit back at the critiques. This Tukre Tukre gang, those who are trying to divide this country through this toolkit, in fact, they have to face the tune of the law of this country. What is wrong in that? Why politicize this issue? Disha's arrest saw several international figures questioning the Modi government. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been silent on atrocities being faced by Pak activists, was quick to point fingers at India. His party accused the Modi government and RSS of silencing voices of activists. US Vice President's niece, Mina Harris, tweeted condemning the arrest, saying that activists should not be targeted and silenced by the government. But while Disha arrest has sparked outrage, the question remains whether she was into activism or was there something sinister. Bureau Report, India Today. 
A lot of politics that's also playing out over the arrest of activist Disha Ravi. Opposition parties are hitting out of the centre, accusing them of using state machinery to muzzle dissenters. Apart from the opposition, you even have Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, US Vice President Kamala Harris's niece, who've condemned the arrest of Disha. A tweet that took social media by a storm. A toolkit that raised Khalistani link to the farmer protest. And now, a 22-year-old's arrest has left the nation divided. The opposition and several key global figures have trained their guns at the Modi government. The Congress and the Trinamool Congress allege that the center is scared of an unarmed young woman. I am really sorry that actual who are the guilty and who are the, uh, doing the mistakes and especially the BJP IT sales, they cannot spare a 21 years girl, fight the politics politically, but don't abuse the people, don't accuse the people, don't beat the farmers, don't beat the students, don't beat the other people. A country which is not afraid, afraid of China can't possibly be afraid of Disha, right? Um, and if there is a conspiracy involved, which the government says there is, then they should make um, uh, Greta Thunberg an accused, and make Rihanna an accused. Even BJP's ally JDU joined in with the opposition ranks. Graftari unko prathmikti darj hui uske aadhar pe graftari hoti hai. Unko bhi apne aap ko defend karne ka adhikar hai, lekin police ko kisi Fabricated, uh, um, fabricated मामला बता करके, दिखा करके या प्रयास करके किसी के साथ प्रताड़ना की कार्रवाई नहीं करनी चाहिए। अब अपील करते हैं आज देश के युवाओं को, the youth of India को कि आप एक स्वर में साथ आकर और strong तरीके से मजबूती से भाजपा सरकार को जवाब दें और उन्हें अपनी ताकत का एहसास दिलाएं। Disha's arrest saw several international figures questioning the Modi government. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been silent on atrocities being faced by activists from Pakistan, was quick to point fingers at India. His party accused the Modi government and the RSS of silencing voices of activists. Imran's party said the centre arrested Disha after using cricketers and Bollywood to build this narrative. US Vice President's niece Meena Harris tweeted condemning the arrest, saying that activists should not be targeted and silenced by the government. UK MP Claudia Webb and American environmentalist Bill McKibben also jumped in, expressing solidarity for Disha. Hitting back, the BJP claimed that young and impressionable minds are being used as cannon fodder in an anti-India plot. This Tukre Tukre gang, those who are trying to divide this country through this toolkit, in fact, they have to face the tune of the law of this country. What is wrong in that? Why politicize this issue? After the Greta Thunberg toolkit controversy, now the arrest of Disha Ravi and the non-bailable warrant against Nikita Jacob have also invited a lot of international criticism. While on the one hand, most of them are not commenting on the farm laws per se, they are talking about and condemning the manner in which the Indian state has handled the arrest and the warrants against activists in India. In New Delhi, Geeta Mohan for India Today. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.